today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome, everybody, to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Doesn't matter whether you're in Lutz, Florida, or maybe Zephyr Hills, or all the way down to Fort Myers. We'd love to come to you at this time. And, of course, it didn't work. So let's change this for a second. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, we got that one. And save settings. And do this. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got a day off. I wasn't expecting uh, this very much. I thought maybe we'd get down to 3,400, a little bit more than that. Um, I was not long, so I'm not uh, worried about losing any money. I did look at a lot of these positions, and they've come back in uh, to what should be fairly decent support. That does not mean the market goes higher this week, though. And when we get to the sit rep, there's uh, a third of all earnings by cap, uh, market cap, this week. So... Uh, you know, if you're going to a market, you're sitting on some fairly good uh, profits. Eh, you come in Monday, everybody's selling. Well, go ahead and ring the register, take your cash. Uh, political implications uh, of this. You know, do you want to get out on a limb before next Tuesday? Eh, maybe, maybe not. But the people that won't, or at least didn't last time, are the fund buyers, uh, people new to the show. Uh, I uh, apologize to those people uh, that are in the know and in the weeds uh, of the stock market business. But uh, there are two kinds of people. There are fund buyers and there are fund managers. Fund managers uh, buy funds and then they hedge against those funds in case uh, everything heads south. The fund managers have to be 100 percent long by their charter. They're supposed to be long the uh, somewhere between the last two days of the month and first three days. Of course, they like to out, uh, outperform other funds so they get more business. So they tend to kind of uh, move around to those levels. Now, they have a fiduciary responsibility to uh, the uh, people that buy their funds not to throw the cash into a rat hole just because it's fun buying day. No one's ever been prosecuted for buying on the on the uh, fourth day or the fifth day uh, of the new month, nor have they been uh, thrown in the hooskow. I haven't been able to use that word in a long time. Hooskow for buying a couple of days early. These uh, fund managers, of course, uh, are basically uh, they've got several bosses. They are all the uh, fund uh, managers. And uh, so you kind of have to know what's going on. And they do talk to each other a great deal because, of course, they are each other's, uh, well, a symbiotic relationship. Maybe we should say it, that is it. So what happened in 2016? Well, everybody got short the market. They all pounded it down uh, the night of the election. And then, of course, it came back the other way. Not only did it come the other way, but all the fun money that had been sitting around deciding what to do decided that, well, we better get on board, and they all bought it in one day. And those are the kind of conditions you get uh, where you, you probably ought to be, I don't know, have a, have a mouse button surgically appended to your finger because it will be fast and it will be violent. 
But I can't. Uh, I can say that probably we're seeing the people that wanted to be out of the market. They're probably going to be, you know, for a couple of reasons. One, all the earnings. Two, uh, the uh, the election cycle. Even if we do well on earnings, it will probably be muted. I suspect both higher and lower. I was, uh, like I said, looking for maybe a little higher than now. Thought we'd probably hang out at 3,400. It's a little bit weaker. Uh, of course, uh, everybody uh, uh, using their First Amendment rights in the Tigers' den today. But uh, I, I'm going to make some predictions, and I'll make a lot more predictions tomorrow. Uh, the really good polls, and I'm not talking about the ones you see on TV, but the really good presidential and uh, Senate and uh, con uh, congressional polls uh, come out today at about, uh, well, about 10 minutes ago. So I won't be able to, to uh, go through them here before the end of the show, but I will tonight. And we'll, uh, we'll do a little prognostication of what I think is going to go on next week. But um, the, I think a lot of people are going to rudely be uh, upended this week when flashback to 2016, suddenly we're real close. Um, we've heard ludicrous uh, spreads of 20% over the last uh, month or so. And my guess is by Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to hear that those are all 1% or it's virtually tied. Then we're going to find out it wasn't virtually tied at all. They were all just making it all up. Um, I'm pretty sure how it's going to come out. I'd like to see this last rev of uh, polling data uh, that truly asks questions that are relevant. And... Uh, eh, we'll talk about them tomorrow. But, uh, you know, not much going on other than that. Um, you know, elections do have consequences. Uh, if we double the tax rate uh, on stock trades, that's going to make a huge difference uh, going forward. It made a huge difference back in uh, 1999 when they lowered them, and uh, they've kind of moved them back and forth. But, uh, man, did you see an incredible rally on lowering them into 2000, 1999. Some people could probably make a case that that caused the dot-com bubble because if you held till January 1st of 2000, you paid half the tax rate. Uh, so a lot of stocks were way, way, way up there in balloons. And, of course, uh, the first couple of days of 2000, uh, we saw – Stocks like Qualcomm go from, uh, what, 190 to 130 bucks in a couple of days. Um, you can see just the opposite. Uh, I would say that if we are going to have uh, double the uh, rates of taxes in uh, stock trading uh, for uh, the U.S., that you could probably shave off uh, fairly quickly. I don't know if it's days or weeks or months, a um, 1,000 points off the S&P cash. Uh, it would make other investments a lot, pro a lot uh, better. In fact, you might see a lot of people move uh, back in and cause a giant uh, housing bubble. You may see a lot of people move into gold, metals, other things like that. Elections have consequences. We'll try to look forward to them. That's on tomorrow's show. Today, yeah, time to sit on our hands for a little bit. Until we get back, do a little history, then we're going to look and see what's actually moving in the market. And if we have any volume that says this is something much bigger, we'll be back in a minute. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Only two days after trans cannot, uh, can't, oh, I can't even say it. Only two days after the transcontinental telegraph lined open, the Pony Express ceases operation. Prior to the opening of the cross country uh, telegraph line, the Pony Express was the fastest way to send communications between St. Joseph, Missouri, and San Francisco, California. And of course, uh, like they said, it took one day <laughs> or two days for things to change. Um, Technology is like that. And, of course, uh, every time you have a magnitude uh, order of change, you get a magnitude order higher in profits. Uh, of course, the telegraphs were incredibly profitable on the time. And uh, you were charged by the word. And things were stopped. Remember all the, the – why did everybody have to say stop at the end of every line uh, when there was really a period? You could have just – assumed it but why was it in every movie did people really talk that way i don't think so but maybe that's just me anyway on this day uh, of course uh st joseph missouri a place that i've been um there's a, a good flight school in there that teaches you how to do uh uh both i think both aerobatics uh i went up there for uh uh, for them, uh, formation flying uh, early in my career. And I think they still do the f the uh, formation uh, the uh, formation flying. Always kind of neat to get up with seven of your buddies and fly around, have a good time. Anyway, uh, that was it. Things change. Eighteen sixty one. Okay, got a lot of emails already coming in. We'll get to those in a second. Of course, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. You can also, of course, email me at path at tfnn.com. Come on, where's my chart? Got to get my chart going on here. Uh, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, yes, I did. Went down, uh, saw the races in downtown St. Petersburg. I, uh, a virtual uh, 
anti-green uh, New Deal orgy of car racing uh, using uh, high-octane fuels. So uh, always a good day. Then went off and had a uh, very, very nice dinner of steak. So uh, I'll probably irritate some people with that. Anyway, uh, a great and wonderful weekend I had. I hope everybody else turned off the TV and had a good weekend. What do the hippies used to say? Tune in, turn on. I, I think we need to turn change that to turn off uh, and uh, have some fun. Anyway, uh, didn't watch much in the way of TV. Watched uh, or did read the headlines, but uh, that's about it. So, uh, eh, what can you say? I think uh, the, the less I uh, the less I watch television, the happier I am. And I've probably have been as happy as I've been in the last month watching those cars race around at incredibly high rates. Although I've done other stuff that's been fun. And, of course, the weather is turning absolutely beautiful down here uh, in God's country around uh, Tampa. I'm in clear water. But, um, you know, just uh, what can you say about it? Uh, let's start looking at some charts. Um, wanted to see just how bad things were. And, of course, uh, the bottom didn't drop out. We were looking at Apple. That was the one I had. Uh, you could actually make a case that it's ready to start an ABC on the way up. If this is a, an ABC uh, on the way higher, um, take a look at this. A one-to-one -one right here would take you to 135.17. I was pretty sure that you're going to come up here and test this again before the end of the year. Uh, you know, uh, oh, we've got to talk about the volume, too. Thank you. Ron for uh, emailing me that. Uh, we've been talking about the kind of volume we've had around uh, this time being around five and a half billion shares. We're just a little bit better, 5.7 billion shares uh, as we start off the show. Um, da -da 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 Yeah, pretty much. Uh, who is this? This is an actor. Um, uh, fun buying around the corner last week. Put call ratio was saying market is up through mid-November. Yeah, um, I haven't looked at the options uh, today. I'll look at them tomorrow. I wanted to see a good day after Friday's expiration to get a, a good clue. But my guess is that everybody's going to do exactly what they did in 2016, which is listen to uh, the TV, be wrong. Uh, go massively short uh, into uh, the election. Be surprised that once again they were lied to. Uh, and uh, the market take back off again on uh, fund buying. But, uh, yeah, don't think it's any different. Uh, the same uh, Lucy that was pulled the ball out from everybody in front of them in 2016 will also get the ball pulled away from them in 2020, I suspect. But we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Anyway, a good ABC possible. Again, you got uh, nothing in the way of very good volume. You got a previous high with some decent volume, i.e. up here at resistance, which is 125. Uh, is that that? Yeah, 125.39. That is the October 13th high. My guess is you're going to get back into that maybe about 130. It's, uh, that probably comes fairly quick, I, I would expect, after the election. Uh, no matter who wins, my guess is this is going to do well. But uh, 135, 17 is a one to one. If we look, if we look at the uh, bigger ones here, uh, how long, uh, can I do that? Um, one to three eight two is one forty three sixty eight. That's above that September sixth high. But uh, yeah. The energy on the way down, not all that bad. Now, could it get back to 103.10? Yes, if it did, I'd buy it. Uh, if it continued to come down on the light volume, it has over the last five days. But I would say more than likely you're getting ready for an ABC on the way up. Now, it may go sideways uh, for the next week or so uh, or even just kind of bounce around. But I'm not uh, – I'm not uh, that excited about it. Bigger problems out here were probably Microsoft uh, up on fairly light volume. Now, it's coming back. Um, I think it did a little bit bigger than a uh, – uh, let's look at the retrace here. Um, actually, 
uh, what was it? Uh, two hundred seven thirty one would have been a, a, a the uh, six one eight retrace. Got to two hundred eight ten today so far, and um, you know support comes in right around two hundred bucks. But um, again, a little bit more volume in Microsoft today. Didn't read the news. Maybe they got something going on. Uh, da, 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 where's Waldo today? <laughs> uh, but we'll change the name to protect the guilty. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, got to get up to get down. Okay. Uh, da, 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 I'm getting noticed. I keep on finding that out every day on uh, LinkedIn. There's some equipment back in the... Facebook plans for election unrest. Huh. That's it. We'll be back in a minute. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we return uh, somebody, uh, da, 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 IPOB. What is IPOB? Um, I hope this is right. Social Capital Ordinary Shares. Okay. 
uh, they're not buying a fifteen dollars call uh, for four sixty. Selling twenty seven. Um, I'd have to work that out. I'm sorry that normally I don't sit there and, and do a lot of spreads or call spreads or anything else. I would say that if I'm thinking the what you're describing here is this the same going sideways? And I think you probably have a pretty good bet on that. Uh, last time you were down here with 5 million shares, you're down with 3.1 million shares today. But uh, if you're uh, banking on uh, da -da -da, expiry to, uh, 2021, huh? Man. I don't know. I, I tend to trade like I drive in, uh, in uh, foggy weather. And that's not out driving my headlights. I have, you know, by the time 2021 runs around, I'm probably going to have 15 different opinions on the way things go. I can kind of look forward to the end of the year. And you know what? If you're, uh, if you're collecting all that depreciating premium uh, to the end of the year, I think that's probably a good, uh, good idea. And, of course, you can always get out of those. Uh, do, 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 okay, what else do we have? Give me a call, 877-927-6648. Someone wanted to look at uh, da, 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 uh, snow. Is that, uh, yeah, that's for today. Yes, and didn't we, I had like a bunch of people ask me about this lately. I don't know if it's the same person or a different person. Um, I think we talked about this last week, didn't we? Um, you're down to support. That would have been where you wanted to buy it. Uh, Interwest Resorts, right? S O N O W. Okay. I mean, it got down to 252, which is where you probably wanted to start thinking about buying it. Uh, but that would be it. I don't see much in that. Um, again, you know, if you were doing something for the next four or five days, uh, I'm kind of thinking the market goes sideways. So, you know, if you were, if you were wanting to do spreads and collect the premium, it's probably going to do nothing but go higher, um, through next Tuesday. I'd be out probably on Friday. Uh, but my guess is we're going to see, um, a lot of the premiums just continue to ratchet up through the week. Uh, they'll be way expensive, and the opposite side is to uh, probably uh, take the opposite side of that of the election, which is what I'm probably going to do. I will I will probably take the opposite side uh, and think that the premiums will all melt almost instantly uh, on the downside, but uh, we'll see see what the market actually does. I can think about what it's going to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, no reason to do it now. Got plenty of time to figure it out. Uh, okay. What else do we have? Uh, people want to ask about a few other things. Um, okay. Question about Boeing. Uh, as we said for a while, I want this thing to kind of bounce around between 160 and 170 for a while. Uh, it is doing exactly that. Um, you're down today, not much in the way of volume. The last time you were down here was on October 15th with 13 million shares. You're down with about 12 million shares today. Uh, previously, you had a huge uh, ro rotation off that with 47 million shares back on the 6th. He also gapped up with 38 million shares uh, back on the 28th of September. Um, I don't think this makes any any real difference other than you're bouncing around. Well, you had that low of what 158.73 of October 15th, so you're kind of in that range today. What was the low? 159.05. So this is kind of the low end of it. But again, my guess is that these things just bounce around for a while. I think. I don't know. I haven't been watching the the uh, the, the tape uh, news ticker that much, but I don't think anybody's thinking that there's any kind of stimulus deal still coming out. Is that kind of dead now? 
Maybe today was a culmination of a lot of stuff, including, as we talked about last week, the the uh, real estate stocks just not acting good on rather good uh, good earnings. Last week was kind of a clue that maybe we had a little bit of uh, uh, of a uh, uh, air gap coming in. Um, okay, other questions coming out. The usual suspects. Wayfair is this time for it to uh, really uh, tick lower, and I wish it was a little cleaner. You had a down day with some decent volume with two million shares, two point three million shares on the twenty first. But uh, you're just kind of going sideways today, up a little bit. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of uh, chasing these stocks with huge short interest. Uh, that was Wayfair, right? Um, we got the 26. So my guess is that after – let's see if they're available here. It was either going to be today um, – let's see on this – on Wayfair. Okay. Go to statistics. No, they're not out yet. The bi monthlies will probably be out tonight or tomorrow. So we'll have to see. But uh, you're 11 days behind. So tomorrow would be 12 days behind. They're going to be out probably tonight, my guess. But the. Uh, Bi-monthly short data still isn't out. Um, still six days to cover in Wayfair. So, again, I'm much more uh, on the side of uh, if the market doesn't fall apart next Wednesday morning, seeing a lot of these stocks with massive short selling numbers uh, probably have uh, some big moves on Wednesday if the market turns out the way I think it will. Okay, other things going on. On. We looked at that. What else do we have? Uh, in fact, it's up, what, 2% on a horrible day. That probably tells you everything you need to know. Uh, sitting at uh, 33.90 on the S&P cash. Um, uh, anything else? I mean, we're off uh, another question about Apple. We're off 85 cents. If that happened on any other day when the market wasn't down, would you really be thinking much? You got to 112.88. I don't think there's much in the way of that. Uh, question coming in on gold. Um, I think, uh, again, a lot of these uh, things are just going sideways. And I can imagine that continuing, like I said, for the next four, five, six days. Then I think you're probably going to have a huge move out of here one way or the other after the election, but I don't see a lot to uh, be uh, jumping up and down about it gold before then. But it's building steam, as they like to say. Back Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN.
Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And we're back. Uh, questions about uh, streaming services, both Disney and Netflix, uh, from Gerald. Uh, Gerald, uh, I've been talking about this for a while. I have a feeling that people uh, that have been stuck at home watching Netflix are eventually going to get bummed out. And i uh, been thinking about this for a while. If there's a stock that I think uh, could crater uh, soon after the election, because I suspect that COVID will be in the rearview mirror the day after the election. Um, I keep on hearing everybody talk about cases, but it doesn't translate to the mortality rate. Kind of the only thing that, uh, that I know of that can't be fake because you go to jail if you lie about it uh, and file those uh, reports. Everything else, cases... I don't know what that means. Does that mean that you were tested? You had antibodies six months ago. You got antibodies again yesterday. Does that mean that you had it even if you never had any symptoms? I don't know what cases actually mean. I know what people going to the hospital means. I know what people that die means. So when I hear everybody yelling, everything spiking again, it sounds to me I, I just get the same sense I get uh, when anybody's talking their own book on CNBC about some stock going to the moon and, and other ludicrous samples. Um, of course, uh, data, actual data, 10 times worth what anybody says that they think something is, especially when it's nebulous, uh, especially when it can mean different things uh, in, from different counties to different states. I know what debt is, and uh, the, the numbers are pretty low in comparison to, to April. Uh, they're not really going up, so I don't know what that means. I, I do know what it means to die, uh, and those numbers, have, I, I would think you'd have to look fairly positively on the way that that's trending, not negatively, but uh, again, yelling and screaming on the uh, TV that uh, cases are higher are one way of getting the end of the world vote, I guess, but I'm not a big fan of it, I think. Almost everything is overblown at some level uh, now. Everything has to be a 10. There's no 7s or 5s or 3s. Uh, everything is a 10. There's, you know, a uh, guy walks against the uh, light is the exact same thing as a ser serial killer. There is, there's no proportion in that stuff anymore. And I guess, well, I guess the TV people have figured out that they can draw crowds with it. So reality is probably a far thing uh, for people to actually have to come to grasp with. So other questions out here. Anyway, we're talking about uh, Netflix. Um, the other one out here I think is problematic is Disney. Um, they have one good show and a bunch of old uh, shows that kids watch, you know, movies, that kind of stuff. Uh, 
there's a certainly a business for it. Uh, is it on the scale of an HBO or a Showtime? Um, unfortunately, uh, the shows that they've had have been pretty horrible, all except one. And that's the, uh, what, the last three uh, Star Wars movies, uh, including the one that recently have been horrible. This may be the one show that's even watchable in that vein, uh, but to build an entire business on it, uh, takes a long time. Kind of reminds me of when Fox started and they had Married with Children and The Simpsons. And that was it. Uh, remember, that was, you know, you could watch those on Sunday night and there was no reason to watch Fox for another eight years. And the question is, you know, if you're just watching it, no charge. But if you're going to pay for it, um, does it translate past uh, people with kids watch, uh, having it? I'm thinking that kids have already watched all those uh, kid shows already, so I, I think they really have to appeal to the parents at least some level. And I guess the uh, parents and the kids could watch Mandalorian Season 2, which starts on October 31st. But uh, I'm not surprised uh, of the stocks out here. The one thing would, I would say is that uh, volume's fairly light, uh, but 120 61 is the last low for Disney back on October 6th, I could see these continue to wander on down unless they start getting some really great shows uh, with some real clout like Netflix and Amazon Prime have. I just, they try to vanilla everything. They run the Star Wars movies. This one was given to somebody else that had nothing to do with Disney, uh, The Mandalorian, and probably the only reason why it's any good. Um, but uh, I don't know. Walt Disney just reminds me of the networks that destroy anything that had any kind of decent uh, of uh, flavor in it to watch. And I don't think that that's going to change. And I don't know. I, they really have to have some other really good thing to watch on it other than Mandalorian um, as more and more people go to that. And, of course, uh as far as Disneyland, as far as I can tell, the California uh, governor and mayors are going to do anything they can to make sure it never opens again. But uh, so that's going to be a drag on that until things turn around. Maybe the day after the election, you get to open Disneyland. But uh, my guess is they continue on uh, as the standard bearer of uh, that kind of uh, governance or lack of. Uh, uh, good old please. Um, kids rewatch the same stuff many times. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think they. I guess at five bucks, uh, with what, which is what it was streaming at before. The question is, how do you turn that into fifteen bucks? Because we've seen that's what it is to uh, make money. You need about fifteen bucks a month for Netflix or. Uh, Amazon Prime or something like that. So the question is, how do they get people to pay 15 bucks? And like I said, Mandalorian is not going to be it. Um, they kind of really put the thumb in the eye of uh, many viewers of their system by telling them it would cost them 30, what was it, 30 or 40? I think it was 30 bucks to watch Mulan. Um, I think a lot of people were really irritated by that. My guess is they're going to lose a lot of subscriptions by saying, well, you know, you can watch all this stuff, but if you want to watch our, our new movie here, eh, it's going to cost you 30 bucks. I'd be very uh, interested to find out how many people actually did pay 30 bucks to watch Milan with their kids. And I mean, if you had like 40 kids over, it'd be one thing. But of course, we've got to be socially distanced. So you're basically putting 30 bucks on there for, well, let's say, uh, husband, wife, two kids. Eh, 750 at a movie theater, probably not too bad. But I'm, again, I'm thinking people are saying, hey, I bought this. I thought I'd get everything. Am I really going to pay another 30 bucks for a single movie out here? Um, anyway, when the numbers come out on that, I think it will be very uh, indicative of how people will react going forward. A uh, question about the energy stocks. And, of course, um, these things have looked good. I kind of like it. You're back here retesting the lows. Um, but could you get 28.20 again? 
it is a possibility. Volume should be a little lighter today, but we're talking about a buck 80 on the XLE. I like it to get a little bit more into this huge down day of the 2nd of October. I had 20, almost 29 million shares. You said you got 22 already. I'd wait for the test. We'll be back in a minute. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. Uh I gotta go get yet another new connector. They don't make these connectors the way that they used to make old connectors. Um, at least this one. Um, let's go and do a review before the end of the day. Uh, we were talking about um, uh, the volume not being all that exciting. We're about uh, 6.2 billion shares on the uh, CBOE consolidated tape. If you want a uh, a a, a that link, just email me at path at tfnn.com, and I'll be glad to send it to you. But uh, 6.2 billion shares is not a lot. Uh, this kind of sell-off, we probably should end up the day at somewhere around 12 billion shares. I don't think we make 9.5 billion. So down on light volume, up on light volume, down on light volume, eventually going to bust out. We're going to have some real volume. But uh, today is not that day. And uh, like I said, a lot of other things going on, a lot of balls uh, being juggled. But uh, mostly, maybe a lot of people just decided to exit stage left before one-third of all the stocks 
uh, weighted by cap come out this week, and that is a absolute lot. Um, and again, lots of conference calls, lots of earnings, lots of other noise out there. Uh, probably much more interesting uh, in a week from now uh, when we get to look forward to uh, probably a trend one way or the other. Uh, but uh, we'll find out about that. Anyway, uh, not much in the way of volume. Uh, the uh, Polar Pop, which I'm getting trademarked today, instead of the Polar Plunge, which we've had in months past in this hour, with the Polar Pop, uh, and what are we up about? 10, 15 points or so on the SP. Um, a modest pop, anyway. So uh, we'll continue to look at that. So when you can, not when you have to. We will see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.